yes, I'm back after taking a little break from YouTube, but I wanted to come here and let you know what's been going on with me. So as most of you know, I recently took a trip from where I live here in Southern California all the way to Northern Washington and back. If by chance you didn't catch that video, the link will be right up there. So on this trip, my bike was outfitted with Continental TKC80 Dual Sport tires. You know, I thought for sure that they would be toast by the time I got home, but they actually held up surprisingly well. I think that was mostly due to the fact that I ensured that I ran adequate highway tire pressures. But upon returning home and giving the bike a good bath and an oil and filter change, I noticed this. Now, I'm not sure where I picked up this nail, but I didn't lose any noticeable air pressure. But because this nail was so close to an existing plug, I knew that the lifespan of this tire had come to an end, and honestly, I wasn't willing to take any chances on a compromised tire. So I replaced the tire with a brand new Continental TKC70 ROX. Considered a 6040 tire, this ROX version is very similar to the standard TKC80, but it has a more aggressive tread along the center of the tire. You know, for those times when your bike wants to leave the pavement. I wanted something that was gonna last a bit longer than an obby tire for all the road travel that I want to do this coming year. For now, I will run the TKC 80 slash 70 rocks front rear combo and see how that works since I still have some life left in my front tire. Now, some riders like Kyle Bradshaw like running this combo, so we'll see. Speaking of traveling, Southern California is on lockdown again for at least until Christmas, but let's be real, it's probably gonna be extended. Here in my town, we have a very small ICU and it is at maximum capacity. So you're not gonna see me taking any unnecessary risks in the name of adventure for now, but fingers crossed things settle down and we can all enjoy our freedom again. But for now, it is what it is. I wanna go back briefly and talk about my motorcycle trip. The purpose of it was to see some family members that I have not seen in a while due to COVID. And time was of the essence, so I knew that I could not delay my trip any longer because I went to see my grandmother and spend some time with her in her final days um, and sadly, she has since then passed away. So I feel really fortunate that I got to see her one last time. I also went to see another dearly loved family member who's dealing with some very challenging health issues. And I won't go into detail out of respect, but I can just tell you it's very, very, very difficult. While traveling, you know, it was really easy to just push those emotions down, which unfortunately I'm really good at. <laughs> I've had years of practice of bearing those feelings, but most of us know that that only works for so long. You know, just when I thought I had developed enough self-awareness to realize what I was doing, that I was resisting certain emotions, I basically started to shut down mentally. Uh, well, you know, when that happens, that's never good. So I was really forced to pay attention and take some time to get recentered mentally and spiritually, hence the reason why I took a break from YouTube and a bunch of other things. But now the holidays are upon us, and since I am on the subject of mental health, I know that some people have difficulties around the holidays for various reasons. Maybe it reminds you of people you lost or you have not so good memories associated with holidays or you feel alone. Now, if this applies to you, I just wanna encourage you as a friend to pay attention to what's going on inside and realize that it's okay to feel that way. I find that for myself, the more I resist certain feelings and emotions, the harder it is for me to let them pass. It's like, I can't release it. And instead, I just stay stuck in my head about it all. Acceptance of these very human feelings helps me lean back into a more centered and present state, and then I don't feel so overwhelmed. Now, I am by no means a professional in this area. You know, all I have is my own experience and what helps me. And finally, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my little channel. At this point, Sound Mind Adventures is still a hobby, and I want to keep it as something that I enjoy doing as long as possible. You know, it started out as an experiment, as like a sort of a therapy for me to get over 
my issues. The channel though is evolving and so am I, but you know, I admit I get a little bit anxious sometimes, you know, when I see that my audience is growing and certain videos get a lot of views, but you know, I am really enjoying the ride and I honestly don't want to stop now. So this year I hope to step up my game with videos. I hope to see some audience growth that's going to take me to the next level. If you haven't done so and you want to join me for my YouTube journey, hit that subscribe button and support this channel. It is greatly appreciated. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave you with this. Love yourself. Love your people. I'm wishing you all the very best this holiday season and beyond. Take care.